<sighs> what are you doing down there? I fell out of the bed. It happens. What time it is? Time to rise and shine. Beautiful morning, isn't it? Fuck, it's only seven. I want to sleep more. Sorry. Sorry, love. Some people have companies to run. Fuck you, asshole. Yeah, yeah you should leave. Uh, I have to go to work anyway. Can I take a shower first? I stink of your perfume. Stink? That is 400 pound Claude Crusade. Educate yourself, woman. Where's the bathroom? Sorry, love. Really? Yes, for fuck's sake, go home. What's your name, by the way? Fuck you. What a popular name these days. That's a hamster. No, really? Yeah, it's a hamster. You have a hamster? No, it's not mine. I just have to watch over him for the weekend. It's my friend's kids. What's his name? What, the kid's name? No, the hamster's name. I don't know, Peanut or something. But how old is he? Two. I don't know. Why are you asking? <laughs> well, yeah, but what is that in hamster years? The same two. No, I mean... You know, for example, a seven-year-old dog is like a seventy-year-old human. One dog year is the same as seventy human years. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Where's your father? Are you going to puke? What? No. So what? That's none of your business. Pee, I need to pee if you're so into details. Okay, then say so. It's just upstairs, first door. Don't lock the door. What? There's something wrong with the door lock. Don't use it. There's something wrong with the door lock. For fuck's sake. Ugh. I told you not to lock the door. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Whatever, just open it. Listen, there's a key. Turn it. Really? Well, turn the key. That's interesting, because I was trying to use magic. You try. <laughs> Why did you lock the door? I told you not to lock the door. No, you didn't. Shh, quiet, you. Don't wake up the neighbors. 
this some kind of clever trap? A trap. What are you going to do? Lock me in here and then what? What? Rape me? R what? Yes, yes, I'm going to rape you. I'm going to rape you through this keyhole, for Christ's sake. I was about to have sex with you like a normal person. Then open the damn door! I have a flight Calm down. tomorrow morning. Calm down, please. You're making it worse. Give me my phone. Listen, let's make a deal. I give you your phone after you stop freaking out. We don't need the police here. You have to break it down. Are you mental? It's oak. So what? So it's expensive. And the oak is also hot. What's wrong? Nothing. Are you having an asthma attack? Yes! Where's your inhaler? It's in my purse. L listen, it's too big to fit under. We We're gonna use the keyhole. Ott! Do you have any better options? Just, just put your mouth around the keyhole. Okay, on three. One, two, three. Do you need more? No, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, thanks. I've got an idea. Wait here. Yeah. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. Pass me my dress. Sorry. Yeah. Shit happens. Hi. You sound like I woke you up. Aren't you an emergency locksmith? Yes, yes I am. Great. Uh, listen, there's a person... Uh, my, my girlfriend got stuck in the bathroom. Oh my God, is she okay? No, no, she's okay. She's just freaking out. What happened? Well, I don't know. The, the, the lock was acting funny over the last days and I just broke. Yeah, there will be... There will be house number three. Juniper Crescent. Well, Google it. Okay, and could you call this number when you arrive? Wow. Could you make it faster? <laughs> what? <laughs> man, that, that, that's double. You're expensive already, man. I'll pay. Okay, listen, we, we're gonna pay for that. Just make it as fast as you can. Okay, cheers. Thank you. You have a locksmith's number on your phone? I do. It's a bit odd, isn't it? <laughs> Why would someone not have a locksmith's number? I suppose. He'll be here in an hour. An hour? Shit. Can you pass me my phone now? I have a cigarette. They're inside my purse. A cigarette? Didn't you just French kiss my door lock? Yeah, and I liked it. Sorry, love. You'll have to wait. This is an unsmoking flat. Okay, I'm off to bed now. You're leaving me here alone? Play some Angry Birds or something. Hi, Mum. No, I'm okay. Everything's fine. It's just, uh, just I'm gonna be back a bit later, so, so don't wait up. Yeah, I know. I won't miss it. Get some sleep on the plane, don't worry. Okay. No, you go too. Okay. Good night.
What's your name, by the way? I told you before. I'm sorry. Caitlin. I'm Patrick. I remember. No, no. Who's there? It's Patrick. Oh, come in, Patrick. Oh, no, you ruined it now. No, I didn't. No, you didn't. So what do you do for a living? I don't think we should talk about that. I agree. But you see, we have an hour to kill and I can't leave you because you might die or something. So, what do you do for a living? I'm an illustrator. I draw things for children's books. That sounds fun. It is. And do you, do you have a web page or a blog or something? Why? I would like to see your work. Why would you want to do that? Listen, I didn't I didn't lock you in there on purpose. And I don't like that this has happened any more than you do. So why don't we just ignore that fact and have a decent conversation? What do you say? There's a sketchbook in my purse. Yeah, I see. It's the sleeping fox. That one's for my own story. What is it about? About a city fox who dreams about being human. Why would it want to be a human? She has her reasons. Hmm. I'd like to be a hawk. Or an eagle or something. Why some pigeons? <laughs> Poor pigeons. Nobody likes them. Like the opposite of kittens. What do you do? Well, I'm the founder of a of a web page where people, mostly rich people, can charter private jets. Wow. Well, we just started. So you have your own plane? Yes, I do. It's a, it's not a jet, but a two seated sports plane just for fun. And you have your own pilot's license and shit. Yes, ma'am. Can your plane make it to San Francisco? Why? Well, I'm leaving London tomorrow. If I miss my flight because of you, you'll have to take me. What are you doing in San Francisco? I've got a job in an animation studio. I'll be drawing cartoon characters for them. Well, that's great. Congrats. Then he told me he was going to move in with her and I couldn't pay the rent alone, so I went back to live with my parents. It was probably the happiest day for my mom. Understandable. What about yours? What do they do? Who? Your parents. Well, my father left my mother when she got pregnant and... and she gave birth to me and my twin brother. You have a twin brother? Yes. But don't get too excited, he's gay. What do you mean? Oh, no, no. Women don't fantasize about having sex with twins. We're not as fucked up as men are. Of course not. You probably don't even watch porn. No, I watch porn. Fair enough. What time do you think the locksmith will arrive? Oh shit. He's way too late. Should probably call him again. Hello? Hi. Uh, where are you? Really? Because you sound sleepy. Did I wake you up? No, no, I'm not oh, for fuck's sake, I woke you up! Is that how you did business? <laughs> what? How can you ask for more, man? Okay, listen, an extra 50 days. Just come here as fast as possible. And open the bloody door. Right. Was he sleeping? Bloody twat. I don't even have the energy to get mad at him. Yeah. We should probably eat something. Are you hungry? I could eat something. Vegetarian? Kosher? Allergies? No, nothing special. Okay, good, because I don't have any of those.
you sneaky bastard. for breakfast. No, Captain Peanut ran away. Who did what? The hamster. Can you look for him in the bathroom, please? What does he look like? Small, white, fluffy. He'd be the only hamster in there. You can't mistake him for anything else. Oh, and he can climb too. What? He can climb. On wires or towels or something. He could hide in the cabinet. So don't look just on the floor. He sounds awesome. I don't think he's in here. Well, he should appear eventually, so just make sure you, you be careful and you don't step on him. Okay, I won't. I was thinking, what else would fit under the door? Could have made some spaghetti and you could have sucked them through your keyhole. <laughs> so what's with all the toys in here? What toys? Under the sink. Well, we could not talk about that. Long story short, I was married for five years. And I have a kid. What happened? Well, she found another one. And left me with Oliver. And then he, the Canadian bastard, decided that he wants kids too. And she thought that she had put too much effort and my money into her appearance to ruin it again with another pregnancy, so... I hired a badass lawyer and took Oliver away. Perhaps it's Oliver's pet, isn't he? Was, yes. What was his name? Peanut. Captain Peanut, the radioactive animal, to be precise. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yes. That was Oliver's idea. He's very into superheroes. I want to make a comic book about... Captain Peanut, the radioactive animal. Can I? Sure. Just don't forget to send me two copies. I won't. Captain Peanut, the radioactive animal. He's genius. Thanks for the meal. You're welcome. I would literally kill for a cigarette. Is it really that bad? No, wait. Really? Just stand by the ventilation hole. I can't! What? This one is not connected to the network, it's a standalone bastard. It's driving me crazy! I forgot about it, sorry. You have to turn it off. How? There's a button on it. I can't reach it! Caitlin, you have to think of something. Be careful! Caitlin! Are you okay? Shit, 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 shit.
Is it broken? No, I don't think so. I'm gonna call the ambulance. No. No, it's not that bad, really. Are you sure? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm fine. Do you want me to call you a taxi then? Or? Yeah, I think so. Look, Patrick. There you are. He's adorable. Did you come to rescue me, Captain Peanut? Because you're a bit late. Well, he's not very good in saving the day, to be honest with you. Remember the London riot? Guess what happened then? Well, nothing. He just sat and did nothing about it. <laughs> well. Okay. Well, let me put him to bed first, and then I'm gonna call you a taxi, okay? Okay. I miss my flight anyway. Shit. I'm so sorry. Would you mind if I stay and sleep for a while? I really don't want to go home right now. No, of course I wouldn't mind. I'm sorry, my blanket probably stings of my aftershave. I should get you another one. What are you talking about? It smells nice. Some people don't like it. You shouldn't keep your phone in your trouser pocket. Sorry. That's the alarm. Do you have to go to work? No. Not today. You missed your flight, so I guess I can skip one day at work. But I could call someone and maybe get you a plane to San Francisco. If you want, I mean, I'm not trying to get rid of you or something. Actually, I might prefer that you stay. I couldn't say your words You couldn't think my thoughts The way was too far To our seashore of the peace Nothing to keep or leave And everything stopped between Those moments of breeze We shared and lost could you believe all around disappeared? My darkness makes you see all around disappeared. 
Your breath makes me be. Oh, oh. 